It wasn't fun. Oh, wait a second. Yeah. A little mixture. Yes. Yeah, we tried to mix it. I thought I was hearing some radio in here. I am hearing you radio. Yeah. You got 30 seconds here pre roll. Well, Jerry Jeff, yes. I'm looking at you here in your velvet jacket. Is this just for your opening here at the Venetian Room? My mother-in-law made that for Christmas present. It's the first chance I've had to wear it. So <laughs> I uh, thought it was a nice room to do it in. I'm wondering what a country outlaw like you is doing in such a posh place as the Venetian Room. Well, it's OU week, and uh, they've been talking to me for about a year or so to come here and I think everybody was just trying it. And once in a while we play some places. We played the Caesars Palace up in Tahoe and we've played different supper clubs along the way and uh, this was just a fun experiment. It feels real good. You like this as well as the honky tonks or? Well, just a little bit of everything. You know, we play, uh, sometimes it's fun just to go right in with, you know, blue jeans and you tuck in the top of your boots. And we play like hunting season down around Bandera. Usually we kick that off with a club down there. and. Oh, well, we play the cattle barons ball, and we play just a little bit of everything, you know. And so, it, yeah, it feels all right. <laughs> is this something, Jerry Jeff, where they came to you, or is it something that you and your agents have been trying to broaden your base? Well, they, uh, uh, we get feelers of all different kinds. We played the US Festival, you know, in Southern California. That was a quite a change, but Mr. Wozniak, the guy who founded Apple Corps, he was... Uh, he was, Jerry, he was a Jerry Jeff and Los Gonzo fan, so he wanted us to come out there. So we play quite a bit of different things, and there's talk on different things all the time going on with agencies, so we try about anything. Uh, what do you have coming up now uh, from here on that's kind of exciting or a little bit different for Jerry Jeff Walker? Well, we're going to Alaska next month, and uh, uh, we'll be up there. And uh, We went there last year, Super Bowl day. And the old Jerry Jeff appeared. <laughs> there were people, they're, the crab fishing has been shut down, so these people are just locked in up there. They're never really ready to have a good time. And so I think we'll learn to pace ourselves better this time. Why don't we do that? We played, last New Year's Eve, we played Billy Bob, so that might be on the horizon before the end of the year. And I think we're in the process of doing a, an album that'll be sold on the 800 number for TV with the old Gonzo band together, which is who we played tonight. Mm -hmm. Um, are you changing your music any at all as you broaden this base of audience? I don't think I will. I think I like it. Just I don't want to ever get to where I play something I can't play. You know, you can get in the position where you, the arrangement gets so hard you don't know how to play it. And so I've always played well, however it suits me. Well, I can play all my songs by myself. I could sit right in the same room and play them all by myself. These are the my friends I've chose to play it with, and that's the way we play our instruments. And so right now there's a lot of, uh, I don't know, they're doing a lot of cleaning up of everybody, <laughs> it seems like, and we're sticking to our kind of rough and rowdy ways. And yet um, some of your longtime fans would say that you've really cleaned up the act. You're not the same Jerry Jeff, uh, the kind of outrageous guy that you used to be. Well, I hope I am. That's going to save a lot of rent cars for Hertz. And, uh... <laughs> <laughs> and uh... well, you know, it's just as you go, I'm ready to be where I am right now. I've got two, two lovely kids, a, a girl and a little boy, and uh, I'm enjoying feeling good, and it's kind of a, a nice time to be. I've got lots of things that I've experienced and written about. Now it's a nice time to be able to perform them well. Uh, I understand you're on somewhat of a health kick. Is this true? Yeah. Uh, for me, it's quite drastic. Uh, you know, no more chicken fried steaks. And, uh, you know, I thought that was good eating. <laughs> you know, I was doing myself good. You know, pretty much just basically watching, you know, eating lighter and leaner and doing a little running. I like to run and play lots of golf. Everybody needs a little golf zen in their life. <laughs> Haven't given up long necks, have you? Yes, pretty much so. I, uh, I, uh, I don't have any. I, just, I decided moderation was for me was not doing any at all. <laughs> 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 That's sort of the way it is. It's all or nothing, and so nothing seems to work good in that area for me. 
What brought this about? Well, I just figure you've given so many in your life, and I used my quota up. <laughs> <laughs> it, it just, uh, I tried doing it moderately, and I couldn't do it, so I just decided that I'll let I might have one Saturday night. Yeah, if I was... Texas wins, I'll probably have a L.A. I have one of those L.A. beers. <laughs> this little waitress the other night, she, we were down in New Orleans. I had to have one in New Orleans. It's, it's my old stomping grounds. And I asked the waitress, you got one of those new L.A. beers? I want to try one for taste. She said, yeah, but I never tried a beer just for its taste. <laughs> <laughs> I said, well, I'm, you know, I'm just, I don't particularly. So I've just been going along pretty good. You look terrific. Thanks. I'm, I'm, it's, you know, it takes a lot of work when you're as bad a shape as I am. <laughs> 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 I just enjoy being alert, I think, now more. Than, you know, it, feeling good was what it was all about, no matter what you did. If what you're doing makes you feel good, then I'm trying to stay close to that. Whatever it is, I'll do it. The uh, song that you wrote for your little girl mm -hmm. uh, it got a really nice reception tonight. Now. Uh, throughout the whole evening, would you say that your reception here in the Venetian Room was typical or was it a little more subdued or how would you characterize it? Well, it was the first show. Uh, we were feeling out the volume and I thought everybody, that's the 8 o'clock show or 9 o'clock show. What time is it? What time is this? And uh, the, the, that's a breakfast set, yeah, we call it. And that's the first show, 9 o'clock. is. Uh, it's going to be different than 11 o'clock. People are out somewhere now. They're having a few drinks someplace. And they're going to wander over and I think it's going to be more typical of that show. And you have to kind of play it by ear. We thought for the first one we would kind of sneak up on it a little bit. We opened with Conjure at Ordinary and and then Bojangles and kind of just moved it along that way and then we kind of aired it out with LA Freeway. So we kind of slowly got there, got looser. I think it'll, we kind of play it by who's in the room and how it's moving. Jerry Jeff, with you kind of changing your, uh, your personal life and your whole approach to music, um, is it, are we coming to a time when we're not going to have any outlaws left? Well, I'm still behind on my taxes. I don't know about you, but uh, the, uh, I don't know. I hope. I hope not. Uh, uh, I'm still looking for new things to do, new adventures, and and, and all that. It's. Uh, I I like right now what's going on. It feels good to be playing the songs with more attention. That's the reason that I'm feeling good. When I can go up on stage and have to really lean in and phrase them well and be controlled of my breathing and everything. That's. Uh, I was experiment. I've always been experimenting, whether it's with the songwriting or I never had a band before. I got to Texas, and we roared through that, and we weren't going to rehearse or we weren't going to be bound by any kind of studio things. We recorded in Lukenbach, and we recorded at my house. Uh, one time, we just went on the road for 20 days and had a sound truck follow us around, record everything we did, and we put that out as an album. We had, we were kind of breaking boundaries and having fun, but we weren't really uh, controlling it or doing it. We were trying to capture ourselves just as we were, and uh, we got away with it. And I think right now, everybody kind of said, okay, you did that, what else can you do? So now I think we're trying to pull up a little bit, be a little more in tune. Uh, we've even had some rehearsals, and uh, uh, it's that sort of stuff. And just, uh, we've been trying to studio a little bit, we're just trying some different things to see what suits us and how we sound. And, and that is exciting, and so that makes me want to stay and do that more. And you're having fun. And having fun. Still having fun. Still having fun. And so are we in the audience. Jerry Jeff, thank you very much. Hope you have a wonderful run here at the Venetian Room. Thank you. That was great. Thank, thank you. you. Yeah, look this way. Okay. And, and uh, yes. I'll talk a little bit, okay, and mind. you can just listen <laughs> and smile <laughs> and try to think sensible get, things. I'm going to get paid for this, dude. <laughs> <laughs> You doing any movies? Will you be doing some movies, do you think, or videos? I don't know. I'm waiting for the westerns to come around again. Hey, they're coming. In all seriousness, they are mm -hmm. coming. There are yeah. three big westerns in production right now. I heard the Clint Eastwood's building this place up around yes. uh, Sun Valley, and yeah. Willie's building a town down in, uh, yeah. at the golf course. You wait and see. Uh, two years from now, there, it's going to be a slew of western movies, I promise you. Well, yeah. I'm, I'll be ready. Yeah, yeah. And Willie and, and Chris got theirs coming out. Friday. Uh, yeah. The, Tomorrow. I think uh, it opens in the Songwriter. Yeah. 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 Looks like a pretty mm -hmm. rallicky, fun one. Yeah, it's, uh, Willie says it's somewhat autobiographical. Mm -hmm. so. if well, for him, can. everything is. <laughs> I was going to say, if he tells the truth, <laughs> it'll be terrific. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> if somebody makes him clean it up, it's going to be, you know. Yeah, but, yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> it won't be as much fun. <laughs> okay, Daryl, you got it? Ten seconds. Oh, all right, seconds. okay. Uh, have you played any other Venetian rooms, uh, the Fairmont Circuit, or is this the only Fairmont you've played? This is the only one, I think. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So what is an outlaw like you doing working in a posh place like the Venetian Room? You might want to do that once more. Okay. So what is an outlaw like you doing working in a posh place like the Venetian Room? Do you really enjoy working for these kinds of audiences? You've cleaned up your act, so to speak. What brought about this change? Okay. Will you change your music to go along with this kind of cleaned up image? Jerry Jeff, are we going to reach a time when there won't be any outlaws left? Uh, let's see what. Uh... Three, two, Has your family life affected this change in your performing? Okay, now I'll just give you reactions. <laughs> just a little more this way. Okay. Okay.